are actually at the Disney Infinity Day celebration here in our Glendale campus in um, Glendale, California, um, where Disney Interactive and Disney Consumer Products are headquartered. So all of our employees are going to be out there celebrating the launch of Disney Infinity 3.0, and we're going to be sitting here playing some toy box speedway and bringing on some of our friends. So. Yeah, absolutely. Let's, you ready to do this? I am. Let's, let's, yeah. let's you want to hop in a race? Let's do it. Um, right. So just a heads up, we had originally planned to do Flynn's Arcade. Right. Um, there are a few issues going on in the PlayStation 4, so we thought, let's save it for a later time. QA yeah. is working on a patch right now. Um, they'll be coming out soon to patch up those issues, and then we'll reschedule some time to play Flynn's Arcade yeah. with you. But today, we're doing Toy Box Speedway. Definitely. Cool. Yeah. We'll be... Um, Without a doubt, we'll we'll kind of schedule some times where we can all meet together in the arcade and play those games. But um, you know what? It's kind of cool to preview the Speedway. This is a hard Monday, I feel, for a lot of people because you got yeah. the game on Sunday and it was like 24 hours of, of pure joy and then you had to go to work today or school today. But congratulations, guys. You made it. Um, you're home now, hopefully. Yeah. Uh, and so you can enjoy some Disney Infinity. So, who are you going to race that's with? That's what I was trying to figure out. It's we have all toys. the figures down here, if you guys can't I see. I think I'm going to go with Mulan. I haven't played all as right. much with Mulan as I would like. So. so, Mulan will be player one, aka Allison. Who are you going with? You know, I'm feeling Zeb today. I'm going to okay. go Zeb. Let's go with Zeb. Okay. So, right. we have the kind of your standard race cars, which are really cool. This is this area that we're actually in right now? This is the Speedway Hub, where you can kind of learn your driving basics. You can kind of, kind of go around, learn how to perform tricks, how to uh, get your speed boost going, all that. And there's some kind of pretty, pretty useful tutorials to get you jumping in there, but you can jump instantly into one of the Speedway cars. I am going to jump into this. Yes. Oh, wow. So I'm going to grab the sand crawler. Nice. Right. So where are we racing? What do you think? So I'll let single you race. choose. I want to try San Francisco. OK, let's do San Francisco. Hop in. Sent you an invite. Don't mind if I do. So this is one of the Toy Box expansion games for those of you who might just be tuning in on Toy Box Speedway, and it'll be available later this fall. So giving you a little bit of a sneak peek. There's this really epic Star Wars music going on behind us <laughs> right now. It's really cool. Are you ready for this, Patrick? Have you done the San Francisco Speedway before? I've done it a couple times. Okay. But I'm thinking maybe you've done it a few more times than I have. Couple. Couple. Okay. I'm intimidated, but I'm ready. Always got. You always gotta look out for the, the the AI racers too. They can be pretty tricky. They can, yeah. It's always cool to see who you get as well. I know. I love when like it's Aladdin leaving the pack. Oh, totally. Oh, I see. Uh, Black suit Spider Man's joined the party. Right, Revit. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> you guys. Well, <laughs> hometown bias here. On. Wow. A little distracting. Grabbing some weapons with those blue hexes. And these green ones are power ups. Oh, hit the wall. Pretty, pretty brutally. Ooh, I'm in first place for now. I don't think it's going to last long, so let's enjoy this moment. We're doing good oh, until I, I hit the a, wall. I the trick. Milan has some skills. So um, as you're going along, the trick is to power drift and then build up your boost. Definitely. Sometimes on the straightaways too, you can kind of you have enough kind of kind of clear oh, road no. in front of you. You Someone can. got me. You can definitely uh, do some kind of tricks just by jumping really high and going from there. This is not a good performance for me, man. That's all right. We're just getting warmed up. It's just the beginning of the stream. And that, that chant, it got in my head, <laughs> yeah. clearly. Oh, we need a Patrick chant, guys. I don't, it's going to be a pity chant. 
Yeah, I want to look at the chat right now, but I'm focused. You should check the chat. Yeah. <laughs> There's probably some really interesting stuff in there. You should look right now. Nice try, Patrick. Ah. You're doing great. Ah, you can. Want to run to the exact same wall. All right. Oh. Oh, is that you? <laughs> I got obliterated. Oh, I think I did that, sorry. Who was in the Alice in Wonderland uh, vehicle? I feel like I'm always on their tail. Oh, no. Oh, microbot. I love how the tracks oh. change every lap. Oh, whoa. I'm getting super beat up back here. We got here. jalopied. Who <laughs> jalopied us? Oh. The jalopy is not the best vehicle for handling. Oh, it's only lap two. Wow. This is a pretty long track. I think the downside of being in the sand crawl is you have a giant bullseye on your back. That's true. Oh, man. But you look cool. So that is true. That. I'll be the most stylish, stylish fourth place Ouch. finish ever. Someone hit me again. I just saw you run by. Come back here. I'm on your tail. I always appreciate the uh, the morale boost Mickey gives you on these too. Oh yeah. See you up ahead. Oh, so when you get um, what I just hit was the uh, thing that makes you invincible for a little while. Oh, nice. I'm unstoppable. <laughs> I'm in fourth. Patrick is in second, and it's not looking good. Macrobots. Microbots. Macrobots are huge. Yeah, seriously. Oh, no. It's tough to avoid these things. Oh, shoot. Come on. Oh, no. No. That hill killed me. Oh, <laughs> <Sorry. laughs> that close. That was a good game. That was good. good well game. done. <laughs> good game, Well Patrick. done. That was close. Man. Ooh, I think that's the first uh, Speedway race I've won. So. Wow. <laughs> that was awesome. All right, do we have oh. another challenger? Yeah. Yeah, I think yeah. we do. Come on up. I'm going to go take the walk of shame right now. Yikes. <laughs> Patrick will be back. Return. Yeah, come on in. Oh, yeah, you guys both want to play? Let's do it. Should I sit in the middle? Okay. All right, so guys, who do we have here? Hi, I'm Brian, I'm a developer on the Infinity website. And I'm Ryan, also a developer for the <laughs> Infinity website. This is fun because you guys are getting to meet some of um, our teammates that you haven't gotten to meet yet, but these guys are coming out to celebrate Disney Infinity 3.0. Yeah. Do you guys pick up 3.0 yet? I did, I was playing it all weekend and uh, it was a lot of fun. What was your favorite part, Ryan? Uh, I think just getting a chance to, you know, Play it instead of you know just working, working on, it. on it. So That's it's just fun just sitting down and playing the the playset. It's so, very different. Yeah. Like I was playing the Rise Against the Empire playset a couple weekends ago, and it was just yeah, it's way different. We can actually just take that time at home and play. Definitely. Who's your favorite character so far? Cora, for Cora? sure. <laughs> How come? I don't know. I just she she was the first one I I started playing with uh, Infinity Three, and she has like the cool range attack, and she looks cool, and she does like flips and stuff. I'm I'm totally into Cora. So I'm taking yeah. it, we're oh, putting yeah. Cora down? Okay. 100%, yeah. <laughs> Not really a question after that. <laughs> How about you? Who are you going to play with, Ryan? Uh, I'm going to play with Fear. Fear, all right. I'll put Fear Oops. down. Stop the game. <laughs> Whoops. Yeah, there we go. We're backwards, though. Congratulations. You're on top, right? This yeah. Disney Infinity oh, do you want to? I can switch the people. To your profile. Switch your characters. All right, so let's go ahead and get in. For this race, are there any stakes here, you guys? Like between you two? Uh, I think the winner gets to keep his job, and the other one. How about we? we <laughs> the other one. <laughs> goodbye. Yeah. Oh, winner gets the popcorn today. Okay, good yeah. popcorn. Yeah. Popcorn. Yeah. What's the popcorn? The popcorn. The the winner has to. The loser has to make the popcorn. In okay. the in the, uh, the kitchen over there. Okay, so yeah, we do have popcorn bags out there. <laughs> yeah, this is this is the stakes are high, guys. Yeah. That's all crazy. I'm gonna say. Right. Okay. Who's the host? I think. Brian, you're the host? Yes. All right. 
<laughs> I believe that's a hint to stop yeah. just messing around <laughs> and go okay. through the race. Those are some cool tricks, though. Yeah. Okay. How do I, how, where do I get it? So you go over here to um, where there's these orbs of light, and then you pick battle race. Maybe here? The middle one. Or yeah. <laughs> yeah. Follow yeah. Ryan. The I middle. Mean. So the middle spotlight. Yes. Back up, back up. Nope. Ah. <laughs> All right, battle race. Do it. Right. We're gonna go. Let's go with 100 cc. Yeah. Do it. Not too hard, but not too easy. Huh. Prince. Travis Teeson says if there's a tie, everyone loses their job, guys. So. <laughs> 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 Popcorn or losing your yeah, job. Yeah, yeah. Stakes are high. Who are, who are you guys rooting for? We've got Cora versus Spear, which is Brian versus Ryan. Oh. <laughs> Let's hear it for Team Ryan. Not a Team Ryan. I mean, come on, it's Spear, not a racer. I, I really chose Spear because I'm scared I'm gonna lose. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's like if you're being like less intimidating. It's like a decoy, right? Yeah, right? Yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah. Halloween Town Highway. Any reason why you guys chose this one? Uh, I like. <laughs> Good answer, yeah. Good reasoning. All right, so it is on, guys. I don't think I've ever done this one. All right, we got cheers for Team Cora and for Fear, you guys. I'm with Fear, oh, no. says uh, Georgios Angelos. Thank you. <laughs> but don't worry, don't worry. Seraphim Bahamut 79 says, Go Cora. Go Cora. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I butchered that name. Already, sorry, guys. I'm okay, I'm oh, I'm Cora. sorry, I was uh, <laughs> distracting you guys. All right, so we got them in fifth and sixth place, Fear and Cora. Oh. Fear is spinning out. Oh. Uh. <laughs> so you, you can see that Cora is powering up with her um, power drifting. Fear is not; it's doing the same. So you guys, you guys know how to play. Yeah. Not very well. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> a couple days of practice. You gotta start boosting there. I know. I have a lot. Oh no, don't boost the wrong way. <laughs> <laughs> I'm supposed to hit the walls, right? Yeah, fear, fear, fear is running away, basically. Oh, no. <laughs> right. A shortcut? Uh, I don't know. Am I lost? I think I'm right behind you, Ryan. Whatever you do, don't hit the triangle button. <laughs> no guarantees. Okay, thank you. I think that means hit the triangle button, Brian. <laughs> no! Get him, get him, get him! Oh, <laughs> bye, fear. Who's everybody? No. Wait, are we that far back? Yeah. We're not you. You guys are still in the pack. You still have a chance here. Maxagonzi says, fear, 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 fear. <laughs> Woo! Woo! <laughs> Let's hear it for Cora, guys. Cora, Cora, yeah, Cora. Cora. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to find the other players in here. You guys are not far behind. Mr. Incredible is just around the corner. You believe you can do this. If I can what dream am I doing it. wrong here? I rev up the, the power, but it doesn't boost. Oh, you gotta oh. flick this button over here. Uh, I was yeah. wondering. I, I thought that was your strategy, Brian. <laughs> I was like, wow, I haven't seen this one, but there we go. he must know what he's doing. There I did. Go. I even did the like the driving training in the Toy Box Hub, but I forgot that one. Like, controls are super sweet this year, so there's some new things for those of you guys who are in, um, have been racing in 1.0 and 2.0. You will have to kind of go through and learn the tricks, but once you get those tricks down, it's super smooth. I see someone. Yes. Oh, don't worry. I heart infinity. James says, Cora. Yes. <laughs> wonderful things happened. Come on, where? This is troubling. This is anybody's game. It's anybody's <laughs> race. Except Cora's. <laughs> Come on, you guys. Fifth, fifth and sixth place. <laughs> Whoa! Watch out for that. All right, coming up on the final lap. Fourth place, I can do that. Oh no. Oh no, Brian. 
<laughs> oh, yeah, Valkandor says, Cora, I love you. <laughs> I just say thanks, I ran into the wall. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> Sorry to strike you, Brian. <laughs> JB4670 four, says, Woohoo, Cora! <laughs> Baroness89 says, Churros! Yeah, Churros! <laughs> yeah, I'm with that guy, that's awesome. Oh, yeah. All right, final lap. Looks like Brian, oh, yeah, it looks like Brian might be making the popcorn tonight. <laughs> yeah, I have a bad feeling about this one. <laughs> oh, sorry. Oh, no, I'm trying to. <laughs> yeah, sorry. <laughs> Go, Cora! You're getting getting some chance. They believe in you. You can you can pull through, Brian. I believe in me too. <laughs> Don't worry. Really there's cool. still there's still cheers for fear too. I haven't turned on you. Cheers for fear. Isn't that a band? Cheer for fear. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Oh no! About to get third. Finish line in sight, and Woo! fear takes it. No. How would you like your popcorn prepared today, Ryan? Uh. Well, oh, I'd like it prepared job. at all. <laughs> I think you might have okay. to make sure he doesn't yeah. spit in your popcorn. Yeah. And just don't burn it, please. Don't burn it again. <laughs> uh oh, again? <laughs> All right, well, guys, right. thanks so much for coming thanks. on. And we might see these guys later this week, too, to um, take us through some of the new website features that they've been working on for you. Mm -hmm. So, All right, thanks. Well, thanks. Great right. game. Thank Enjoy you. the party. <laughs> Give it up. Yeah. Brian and Ryan. All right, who do we have coming up next? Jess and Mark. Jess, Jessica Klein, come on down. Woo! Mark oh, Madsen. Mark. Mark Jazzy, Jazzy, Jazz. DJ Jazzy. Uh, All right, you guys. So we have Jessica Klein. You want to tell them a little about what you do here? Sure. I'm. You on, have met her before. You have. I'm uh, famous, basically. <laughs> <laughs> on a few live streams. Put it on TV and cameo. <laughs> Um, I'm on the marketing team, so um, I get to work with all of these fine folks. <laughs> we have a lot of fun. Yes, a lot. Actually, I sit right next to Allison, so <laughs> we laugh all day long. <laughs> Mark Madsen, I work with his whole team here. Yeah. We get along sometimes. sometimes. <laughs> Most of the time. Oh, after this race, Mostly. Though, I don't know. Okay. Yeah. I, I can feel that like, there's some tension going on already. You guys are like ready. Yeah. Throw down. Uh, okay, let's pick our characters. Let's get into it. Okay. All right. I'll hold this. I have to do Joy. Joy? Yeah. Why are you picking Joy? Because um, I'm kind of the Joy on the team, so it just... <laughs> Super <laughs> modest. <laughs> but not wrong, but not wrong. Yeah, you are. All right. And so it's Joy verse. Boba Fett. Just because he's cool. That's all. Man a few words. All right, guys. So we got Joy versus Boba Fett. Let's all get right. this started. Um, let us know who you guys think is going to win. And now, stakes. Are there any stakes here? Steak. <laughs> <laughs> I like steak. The steak. Steak sounds steak. good. Okay, the stakes are steak. Nice, I, I like, like it. That. All right, okay. fine. You got it. It's bet. on. Medium rare. All right, just go ahead and click whichever one. Which one am I? Um, so you're the bottom, Joy. You just, and then mark your on top. So, oh, go ahead and say oh, okay. I'm, okay. Just press X. Yeah. Press nope. Oh. We got our wires crossed. Oh. There we go. I'm wondering why I was. <laughs> yeah. I was wondering why you didn't know how to press X. <laughs> <laughs> why can't I press this button? I play video games. Before. Wait, am I supposed to wait for you? No, not in a race. Oh, all right. Hello. I guess we know who's winning the stake. Man, we already got a lot of cheers for Boba Fett. Some for Joy as well. J Jai Smith says Boba Fett's gonna 50, win. 100, 50, I don't understand. 50. What have we been doing? Um, we did two. Pop Echo and I did 250. They just did 100. Okay, we'll do 250. Okay, it's on single track. Single. Which uh, track are you guys gonna go for? Mini Breeze says, of course I'm with Jessica. Aww. That's nice. Screw you, Mini Breeze. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, that was harsh. <laughs> I just got a lot more supporters Lines here. are being drawn. <laughs> um, 
Shelby from the PR team is tuning in. She says, hashtag team both. Team Aww. both, okay. That's probably better. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what, uh, what track do you want to play on? Giorgio Six. says Agraba. Agraba. All right. Georges, Do we're doing Agraba. Right. Waiting for players. I'm waiting for Joy. So you go ahead and view your invites with yeah. square. Accept X. Cool. All right. We're off to Agraba. Right. Here goes nothing. Oh, someone says gotta drop Boba after that harshness. <laughs> Team Joy, Mark, <laughs> turn it. the tides have turned. Somebody's gotta be the villain. <laughs> <laughs> Happy to be included. <laughs> 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 yes. So good. So good. <laughs> 88 miles per an hour, one, two, one says hi, Allison. Hi, 88 miles. <laughs> Just checking on the chat here as we get ready for this intense race. Intensity. Are you ready? So where are we getting staked? I don't know. Brian Pimentel looking for a shout out. Shout I'm out, Brian. Back. What's up, Brian? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I'm doing good so far. <laughs> oh, there goes that flamingo. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> I'm <laughs> um, sorry for everybody who's voting for Joy. <laughs> you might not be winning. Don't let that. us down. Don't let us down. You got this. Okay, so if you hit the top bu the square button or the triangle button right now you're going to go with invincible and now you're going to be able to just oh, go sweet. through um not through walls but through any kind of obstacles where am i where am i where am i where am i did not want that shortcut create like a pro says whoa those clouds are orange it is a very pretty sunset in the agrabah track yes it is sunset I don't, like pink clouds. <laughs> it is happening. <laughs> oh, Boba Fett has dropped to sixth place. Boba Fett oh, is like off what? the map right now. <laughs> I think it's a shortcut, Mark. Not that <laughs> Oh, check you out. You're gr rail grinding. <laughs> <laughs> and the wall. Okay. Boost, boost. Do not do that shortcut. shortcut. Yeah, I find that the shortcuts can only help you if you know where you're going. I have definitely gotten lots yeah, of a few shortcuts. Going. <laughs> we okay. believe in you, Joy, says little Chris Hutch. Yay, thanks, guys. Believe in Boba. <laughs> All will follow. Uh, <laughs> shout out to Crazy Toy and Gamer Dude. Says, please say my name. Hi, Crazy Toy and Gamer Dude. Uh, Tiger Boy wants to see the Sugar Rush track next. We can definitely get that loaded. I think we're going to go through all track. the tracks today. How do you know which, um, uh oh. How do you know, oh, okay. That's a wall. <laughs> <laughs> How do you know which power ups you get when you go through this? And so then they appear on the side, so right now you have those. How did I end up in the shortcut oh, again? Oh. <laughs> the shortcut, there's not, there's not a shortcut through the wall. <laughs> Um, <laughs> this is painful to watch, I'm quite certain. You guys are making us proud. <laughs> I'm just going to rev it halfway. There we go. Okay. Oh, the heart, I heart oh, Infinity no. James says, do it for Bing Bong, Joy. Oh, who's your friend who likes to play? Bing Bong, Bing Bong. <laughs> Where's the staking? I don't know, but I'm right behind you. Oh, sweet. It actually worked. Uh -oh, uh -oh, nice, uh -oh. nice. Go, go, Joy, go! Come on, come on. You guys just have one lap left. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh, jalopy. I don't know. Yeah. Uh oh. Mark jalopy, do. Come on, Mark. That's that. not cool. Dude, after all those fake shortcuts. So Disney RU one says, when will Toy Box Speedway be out? So it's coming out later this fall, guys. In October, right? Yep. Right. Yep. October. Okay. I'm not in last. That's all I know. I am. <laughs> I'm in first place for steak convention. Uh, oh yeah, I forgot there's a steak on the yeah. line. Final lap. There's a steak steak. <laughs> the, the steaks are steak. Okay. I'm not taking the shortcut, so now I really don't know where I'm going. Scott Gamer wants to know where is JV. JV will be joining us later this week. He's off getting things done for a Disney Infinity. He wishes he could be here, but um, he'll be back. He'll be back. I took the shortcut. Uh oh. Uh -oh. That's make the good. make the shortcut count. Yes. Hit the rail grind. 
Oh, Dude, Boba Fett's pretty far out of <laughs> Steak, steak, Wait. steak, steak. I wanted steak. I want a steak pizza. What? All right. All right. I see some people talking about Toybox Takeover. We're going to be playing that later this week. Oh. oh! I don't know if I'm even going to finish. We believe in you. Let's hear it for Jess. Joy, joy, joy. Oh, Jess, joy. Jess, Jess, Jess. <laughs> Steak, 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 steak. Steak. Oh no, I feel so much pressure now. No, you got it. No, we no, believe no, in you. You're still getting me the steak. No more pressure. <laughs> uh, finish line right up ahead, and yeah, guys, that was great. Love Wonderful that. job all around. Thanks for playing. Thank you, Mark. Uh, Jess. Do we have some more players? Okay, we're gonna grab some people. All right, let's do it. So we are actually gonna see if we can grab a few people from outside. You can see the crowd gathering um, to celebrate Disney Infinity Day here at GC3 on um, our creative campus here in Glendale, where um, we're headquartered. So let me let me just take a look at the chat. Oh, as I was saying, some people are asking about Toy Box Takeover, and we are gonna be playing it. So we're gonna be playing it. Um, tomorrow, Tuesday at 3 p.m., we'll be back. Um, we'll have our good friend Brandon Jones from GameTrailers.com who's going to be joining us as well. Looks like we have a victim. Come on over. Nando. Who, who we got? We got Nando wearing an amazing, amazing shirt. And Ta Tyler? I think Hi. so, unless they're grabbing somebody else. All right, so fun fact I think fact you're up. About this shirt. Okay, you're ready. You're ready with the fun facts. Yeah. Um, oh, God. I have my glasses on. You're okay. Wait, right, now I'm blind. Um, my mom made it. Your mom made this shirt? Yeah. That's amazing. Right? Yeah, she did. Shout out to Nando's mom. Yeah, thanks, mom. Great job, Nando's mom. Yeah, she sent me uh, this, which is kind of a surprise. And she loves, so I love Star Wars. She found the fabric, made me a shirt. That's awesome. Yeah. I really like that. So, do you want to play as Vader? Let's play. All right. I'm down. We got Vader down here. It's his shiny helmet. I know. Exciting. Looks good. All right. You know who I want to play as. I, I don't. Let's, why don't you tell them? I want to be discussed. <laughs> Tyler is me disgust. disgust. There you go. Let's see. You got it. I mean, twins. <laughs> so can I throw out disclaimers? I'm not really good at the racing. Uh oh, because Tyler is pretty good. Is he? Uh -oh. I believe it. What are the stakes here on this race? Can we say the stakes are also <laughs> stakes? <laughs> because stakes sounds really good. <laughs> that that does. Okay, okay, all right. Okay. Where's my car? I don't know how I can support this. I'm <laughs> as a vegetarian. These stakes. <laughs> Battle um, race. Right. I think I think stakes this time. I'll 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 give you the. Are you gonna give me like a out. like a leg up? I'll, here? Le I'll let you I'll let you decide what the stakes are. All right. Okay. Hmm. You don't want to make it too bad because what yeah, if, what if you lose? Exactly. I Maybe it, make it. The winner buys the loser a steak. Okay. So that's <laughs> what that's what it was before. I'm good with that. I think you caught that. I said the winner buys the loser. Yeah. No, uh, no, no, it's all good. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. No, we're good. We're good. The loser buys yeah. the winner. What? Loser the winner. Uh, what? I think we, it was already. You got it backwards. No. Oh, Pirate so Steven I'll... says Team Disgust. While what? Maxi Gunzi says Team Darth Vader. Uh -oh. So let us know what you guys think. Who's you, you gonna might win? Wanna press square, square, square. Wow, you're like all about it. Okay. I'm in for in the meantime, Chris let's X. check out this cookie that Nando's brought over. He's got a, a cute little How about Yoda. that? We'll make the cookie the steak. Oh, I like that. The cookie. Winner the gets the cookie. I like that Winner a lot. Winner gets the cookie. Winner okay. gets the cookie. Winner gets this lovely sugar cookie with Yoda on it. Okay. It looks delicious. <laughs> it looks delicious. So I think actually, if I can, I think my nieces might be watching the live stream right now. Oh, cool. So, hi, Ava. Hi, Bella. Hi, Ava and Bella. Thanks for watching. Hi, Ava and Bella. That's awesome. I give a shout out to my brother, but he's not as cool as my nieces are. Oh, hi, so. Nando's brother. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm not gonna, I'm not going to distract you, but we're going to Sugar Rush Raceway as okay. the chat had requested. Um, I've never this. played this. This is one. perfect. So you got, you got Darth Vader mm -hmm. racing disgust on the sugar. sugar Sugar Rush Raceway. Hashtag only in the toy box. Hashtag only in the toy box. It's appropriate oh, because don't, go ahead. Steak, focus. <laughs> what, what's, what the stakes are is cookies, which is sugar. So it's like filling. What else do you think is in a sugar cookie? 
Like, what are the other Horse? ingredients? Hopefully not peanuts. <laughs> oh, are yeah. Are you allergic? Heather's yeah. allergic. Oh, I'm so sorry. So if they're peanuts, you can have a hand up. My god, you're a boss. Look at you. I can't even see you on so the So guys, if anymore. you guys have questions for Tyler, let us know in the chat. Let's try to distract him a little bit. Okay. Oh, I uh, thought you could... Yes, like, exactly. <laughs> Tyler, when did you start playing this game? Yeah. Well, when's the very first time you ever played Disney Infinity? 3.0 or in general? Just in general. Um, first time I played was in Epcot, like two years ago. Two years ago, yeah, okay. Interventions. -ish. And now here you are playing Disney Infinity 3.0 at our campus in Glendale, all the way across the U.S. I know. Now life is I'm funny. Grown up. So, who are the other emotions besides disgust? Fear, <laughs> anger, oh, fear, <laughs> anger, joy, and sadness. But they don't matter as much. Wow, there's explosions everywhere. Lewis wants to know when we're going to do Flynn's Arcade, so we're going to save that for another stream. Right now there's a couple of issues going on for the PlayStation 4. All other platforms are good, but we just want to um, make sure PlayStation 4 is all good. There's a patch coming, and then we are going to meet you guys at another time in Flynn's Arcade. Let's see it. How long have you been working with Disney Infinity, Tyler? Jason Avis wants to know. I've been with Disney Infinity since February. How many, right? how many Tiki's has the Tiki Room song? How that many, comes, that's a wait, question. what? How many Tiki's has the Tiki Room song comes from our friends, Ur Daddy 3? Oh, I love the it. The Tiki, Tiki, Make Tiki, Tiki, Tiki Room. How many? That's, wait, one, <laughs> two, three, four, five Tiki's. Specifically five Tiki's. Oh, that one, that one dropped him down to second place. Good job, Ur Daddy 3. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> You're still in the lead. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm just glad I haven't crashed yet. Like, terribly crashed. I've crashed very badly a couple times. And you're still in the lead. Have some compassion, man. No, I have no compassion. I'm <laughs> disgust. Jamie, we are listening and checking it, your chat as well. So um, just FYI, Ryan V says, awesome shirt, Nando. Thank you, thank you. Ryan V also says, shout out mom. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag, my mom still makes me shirts. What's your favorite fruit, Tyler? None of them. <laughs> I hate all fruit. That's in a fun fact, fun fact about Tyler. He in, hates fruit. In fact, bananas are the worst of all fruit and should not exist. Okay, that's funny because someone said it was Tyler Gamer eighty four. Oh. He says, ask <laughs> Tyler about how much he likes bananas. That's a friend of mine. What's up, Tyler Gamer? <laughs> how many figures have you hand modeled, Tyler? Too many to count. Wait. Tyler, is your internship fair and legal? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Who said that? Who said that? Is that Keith? Alley Cat. Cute. Alicat Q2. Oh, okay. <laughs> it is fair and it is legal. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh my god. Let's see. Is Kanan playable in the Twilight of the Republic? That's a great question, Bluebird or 1992. Let's let Tyler answer it. Is Wait, Kanan, what was the question? Is Kanan playable in the Twilight of the Republic playset? Yes, in fact, all of the Star Wars rebels and all Star Wars characters are playable across all Star Wars playsets if you collect all the crossover coins. This guy's good. He can't be distracted. Yeah, no. I appreciate everyone's help in trying to distract him <laughs> and, and uh, create a little more parity winner. between his skills and mine. But <laughs> today, he is the better man. <laughs> well done, good sir. Actually, I'm going to let you keep this cookie, Nando. OK. Because I, he's still racing. He's still, I'm still, still going. I'm still racing. So far behind. I am still racing. And like 10 minutes later. Nando. There we go. I present to you this Yoda cookie. Clap it's, be it's beautiful. Clap. This is a wonderful moment. Thank you for presenting my cookie back to me. You're All welcome. right, thank you guys. Bye, Thanks guys. so much, Nando, for being such a good sport. Do we have more? We have more. I see two more competitors. Oh, two more. Sorry. Sorry, they were just in front. Okay, we have we have two. Tracy and Mai are joining us. Hey guys, come on up. It's so awesome. Okay, so here are your controllers. Let's get out of here. This is How's a really pretty racetrack. Yeah. Well, you guys have to decide which one oh, you guys okay. want to go. All right. Okay. So first of all, let us know who you are and what you do at Disney Interactive. Hi, I'm Tracy. I'm in Human Resources. And I'm Mai, and I'm also in Human Resources. Awesome. This is so fun. You guys get to meet more people from our team. So while we're waiting for the game to load, you guys want to pick your characters? We have all the 3.0 characters up here. Ooh. I'll be disgust. Okay, we're going to stick with the disgust. Is. Oh, that's cute. Okay. Okay. So disgust versus sadness, guys. It's anybody's okay. game. <laughs> all right. 
All right, so go ahead and hop in a vehicle under the inside. Um, let's see who's who. There you go. Congratulations. This Disney Infinity figure is now connected to your profile. Uh oh. <laughs> ben is going with his hack. <laughs> So okay. you said the blue and green vehicles, you guys can jump in those. I guess I'll jump in the green vehicle. Uh-oh. Help me. <laughs> Am I in? There you oh. go. So hey. this is your guys' first go. time playing Toy this Box This is our Steve? first time yeah. playing this. That's awesome. We're very excited. <laughs> Super cute. If I could get in the car. All right, so, um, oh yeah, you're, you're going to start it. Oh, why isn't she going in there? She's disgusted by it. Yeah, she's like, I, I don't want that car. No. Let me try. Okay. Let's see. There you go. Oh, works for you. I think it was just like you, you can't move the button as you're going. She's over jumping. Oh. So then go ahead and so the right trigger is going to go forward. Left trigger is back. Are we starting? So you're going to go to the middle spotlight up there. I think that uh, Maya is going to have to select the race as the uh, first player. There you go. There go. All right, so right trigger forward, and then just go to the middle um, spotlight up there to select your race. Uh, or back. Left trigger is back. So that one. That first middle one will take you into battle race, and then it will be okay. on. This one? Yeah. So just drive into that spotlight. All right. Oh. Did I mess it? Yeah, you're you're super powerful already. You guys are doing awesome. <laughs> okay. You want to get, get you into the race? Yeah. Okay. All right, let's do 50 single track. And what do you guys want to do? We've got, let's see, we've done Agarwal, San Francisco. We have let's Arendelle. 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 All right, cool. All right, and then you press square. So view your invites and then accept with X. And then we okay. should be ready. All right, now it's on. So guys, it's Disgust vs. Sadness on it, the Arendelle Racing ready, Ring. Ready, uh -oh. Do we have steaks here? Is there anything on the line? No, no just, just pride. Surviving. Surviving. I'll give you a cookie. Oh, okay. If you win. But <laughs> you won't win. Uh oh. <laughs> Already some smack talk going on. I think it's a green cookie. A green cookie? Yeah, because I'm disgust. Oh, right. No broccoli cookies. I'll be sad no. if I lose. Aww. <laughs> All right, so we're loading into the race right now, guys. Arendelle Racing Rink, it's so lovely. How cute. All right, so you guys are going to want to hit right trigger to start racing, or to start boosting when it comes here. So it's going to say, rather you just like hit right trigger. Let's go. Mm -hmm. So, rev it, right trigger, right trigger. There we go. You guys got this. Sadness first is good. All good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, what do you guys think is going to win? We've got the fifth the and sixth players. place. It's anybody's game. I'm going to make a comeback. It looks like Wreck It Ralph is taking an early lead. Getting some hearts for sadness. Yeah. Whoa. Whoa. Uh -oh. DGC says, go sadness. Yeah, Maxi Gums says, come on, sadness. <laughs> Darth Rat says, go wreck it, Ralph. Oh. Really? Oh. Really? Disney Gamer wants to know, can you use other vehicles? And yes, you can use um, other vehicles. Um, at the beginning of the stream, hey, at the beginning of the stream, we had um, Papa Echo pick a different vehicle. But our racers here have been sticking to what they know. They've been sticking to these um, vehicles that come with Playback Speedway. But you can bring in your power disc vehicles as well. Team Disgust says Lewis. Go Elsa says Lewis. Pirate Steven, Team Wreck-It Ralph. Come on, you guys. Sadness. 
Do not says, go disgust. Isaac says, disgust, disgust. Zayad says, go sadness. Gabriel says, go Elsa. I love it. Oh, Elsa. She's got a little bit of a home cart advantage, let's be honest. Yeah, Elsa and Anna are winning. Come on, guys. We've probably done this track a million times. Team Darth Vader. Is, is Darth Vader even in the race? <laughs> I don't think Vader's in the race, you guys. Let's go. I don't see Olaf in the race either. I don't. What are you talking about, Infinity Guru? Where, where is Olaf? Oh, there he is. Oh, Olaf is right behind Rugged Ralph. He was hiding. Go, Marshmallow. <laughs> you guys are too funny. Hashtag Team Marshmallow. <laughs> you guys are doing great. One Final lap. believe in you sadness yeah right you guys are still super close One lap left. Hurry. maxi gonzi says i believe in you sadness you are my only hope oh. bubba smith says disgust win it for riley We have some very special guests coming up next that you guys will recognize from our community. So, um, somebody named Evil Los is in the house. So, um, he's gonna be dropping by in just a second to play with us. Stay tuned for that. Oh, this isn't a good idea. <laughs> Oh, Jimmy had a good idea. He says, it's time to casually remind people about that awesome first to play contest. I, I will. All right, so cool. guys, um, remember we have the first to play sweepstakes going on right now. And if you create a video, great job, by the way. I did it. <laughs> <laughs> job. If you create a video on YouTube or Twitch showing off your reaction to Disney Infinity 3.0, it can be gameplay, it can be an unboxing, it can be a haul video, you will be entered to for a chance to win a Kingdom Hearts Mickey Power Disc exclusive to D23. So check that out on our website. Great job. Yeah. <laughs> In the hearts we won. Thank you guys so much for playing. That was really fun. What's up? All right. Hi. So I just said Evil's is coming on, but we've got many Evil's here. So what's your name? My name is Xander. Xander, that's And then we, of course, got Evil's. Hey, Evil's, Chris, how you doing? So we're going to do a father-son race. Woo! You guys want to pick your figures? Sure. What do you think? Which one do you want to be? You want to be Boba Fett? Of course. <laughs> As he was mini Boba Fett at D23, you know what? Also, oh, were you dressed up like mini yeah. Boba Fett? That's so cool. Let's do Darth Maul. Darth Maul versus Boba Fett. That's intense, you guys. Yeah. All right. So Xander, who do you think is going to win this race? I think me. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think? I, How do you? I, I think yeah. I think that's fair. That's fair. <laughs> <laughs> so hi everyone watching. How you doing? Yeah, so you're just I, dropping by? Yeah, I was just dropping by. I was like, hey, I'm going to be here. And you're like, hey, come on the stream. So, yeah, thanks. I'm here. That's really cool. <laughs> Even though it's confirmed. <laughs> Did you expect Father Wise? All right, so uh, are you, you're shooting me, man. Yeah, we get. Uh-oh. It, it's on already. Right, so you, okay, so we got to get we gotta get on in the car, right? <laughs> yeah, First, get in the car. Get in the car. Yeah, head on over. Right. Look at him, he's already like already there. Darth Maul is the host, so yeah, yeah you can expect it. All right, here we go. All right, so for square. Okay. He believes. Oh. Um, maybe cancel. Oh. Okay. There you go. Try. No, we do oh, I'll drive around. Oh, wait, Ready? does he have to? Okay, there we go. There we go, All cool. Right. So we'll do this, here we go. Oops. 
single track battle. Team Boba Fett, there's a lot of people in the chat cheering for you already. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> best, best. Yeah. Okay, so which one do you want to do, Zan? Um, pick something Star Wars. Star Wars? Dunes of Tatooine. Dunes of Tatooine. Yeah, okay. Yeah. All right, perfect cool. for Darth Maul. And actually Boba Fett, because he's stuck in the Sarlacc pit. Yeah. <laughs> little fun, little fun fact for you. Okay. All right, so you can go ahead and view your invites, Square, and then X to accept. All right. There we go. And now it's on. Sorry, everyone. There you go. Now we're ready. Now we're ready to race. Now it's really on. Okay, I'm gonna let you guys focus. Okay. Get prepared. Do you guys know how to power drift? Uh, no. So as you're going around, it's the left trigger. So you'll, oh. the right trigger is the go, and then you want to hold down the left trigger and to build up your boost, and then you'll flick this to boost once you've built it up. Okay. So you'll see on the meter. Cool. You ready, Zan? Yeah. Right. Yeah, you ready to do this? Go. Oh, jump the hut! Jump the hut. <laughs> All right, let's see. Good Lewis money. says, beat your dad, Zan. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Team Boba Fett, Ray Ray. Go. Darth Maul all the way, DJC. Oh, all right. I need all the help I can get. Why is that person riding in front of me? Let's see. Oh, it's a uh, Yeah, Luke's land scooter, right? All right, here we go. I'm on my way. Oh. <laughs> oh. Okay, so I, I have you. no idea where I'm going. Okay, here we go. You got it, you got there. it. Oh, okay. How about that? Oh, how do I use this? Oh, wait. Oh, oh, oh. Um, triangle? Yep. Yep. Yeah, so triangle, once you pick up a weapon, you hit triangle to use it. Okay, so triangle to shoot the weapon. Mm -hmm. All right. And then those green hexes are boosts. So they're going to give you a, a boost of speed. Awesome. And then you can see the meter at the bottom, that's where you're, you're building up your power drift. Where are you? Where the heck are you, Dad? I don't know. He's behind you. You're, you're in yes. third place. Are you yeah. In third? Fourth place oh, now. Okay, yeah. Okay. Oh. What is this guy doing? I would like to say, though, that there's a heck of a party going on behind us right now. <laughs> yeah. Um, so it's so I so in there. It's amazing the party that's going on behind us. People are excited. It's a really it's an exciting day for the team to have released Disney oh, Infinity 3.0. Yeah. Are, are you guys giving out a, fee, a free figure today? I think that uh, yeah, some of the employees yeah. if you stand in line, you're gonna yeah. get a free figure. That line figure. is crazy. So that's cool. That's cool. A lot of people in line were excited and everything. Dad, you can which use awesome. your boost, by the way. What's the boost? Flick it. Which one? The right, um, the right one. one. So flick this right. There you go. Oh, yeah. That's the, should, that's the secret. Have told me that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. He's fair. He's yeah, he's fair. fair. He's I, fair. I can respect that, though. That's really respectable. Are you in front of me now? Uh, oh, you're behind so. oh, me. No. Here we go. Oh! Am I in front of you now? No, I'm not. Oh, oh yeah. You, way. You, you, you flip, 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 flip. Oh! Spun, spun out. out. Get him. Okay. Get him, get him, get him. Sorry. <laughs> I have no idea where I'm going. I'm sure the whole chat room's rooting for Xander anyway, so it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> what do you okay. think, Dan? You think everyone's rooting for you right now? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm in sixth place. Gun Gaming says kids will always beat the parents. Yeah. <laughs> it is true. I do not like using the boost. You are right on the tail of Darth Maul right now. You guys are in fourth and fifth place. Coming for you. Coming for you. Oh, oh, yeah. Wait, did you just get in front of me? Oh, Sonic Pit! Oh, no, 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 You both fell out. Yeah, you got in Sonic Pit, too. <laughs> That's 10,000 years of digestion, by the way. <laughs> oh. Or a thousand years. That's the lore of the Star Wars lore. If you fall into the Sarlacc uh, Star -like Pit in real life, in real life, it's, in real life. it's, it's <laughs> fake, but in the lore, you, you, di you get digested in your stomach for a thousand years. Wow. So imagine that. It's gonna really put you behind. Final lap, and Zan is You're in. Six place. And Zan's in the lead. Yeah. Oh, this guy think beat me. <laughs> Who is this guy? Yeah, I think it's Hawkeye. Yeah. Be you, Hawkeye. It was really cool to see everyone's oh, uh, everyone's cool Twitter post yeah. uh, yesterday for the for the release and all the cool Twitter stuff yeah. and Instagram and. Uh, it was really what fun to see everyone's uh, hauls and stuff, so yeah. A lot of amazing pictures. Oh yeah, so cool, so cool. Hi, friend. <laughs> right behind him, get him. Oh, I'm crashing you. No, do not use that. Get away from me. 
Fist. Oh, short, no, no. shortcut. But with that, found a shortcut. Oh, man. Oh. I think that was it. Oh, no. Yeah. That last lap can be brutal. Man, I don't even know where, I don't even think I'm going in the right spot now. Okay, I don't even know where I'm going. I'm just following it's, some random stuff. You're taking oh. the shortcut. Oh, to the left, to the left. Oh, Starlock Pit, Starlock Pit. Oh, 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 no. Back, 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 back. Oh. There you go, there you go. Run, run, run. I can see him out in the distance. You guys are so close together right now. Dang it, you said what I was going to take. Oh, 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 that's what you get. No. That's what you get. Oh, oh man. Oh, fat for the win. Oh, fat. How do I turn my hand up? Oh, oh, oh fat. We got our winner, hey. Team Boba Fett. Great job. That was really fun. That was cool. What did you guys cool. think of the new Toy Box Speedway? Is that your first time playing, or have you checked it out before? I played at D23. Yeah, yeah. At, at D23. He's a pro. Yeah, he was there for the whole time at D23, just sitting there playing all the games. So that was a really cool booth, though. Know. What was your favorite part to play? Like of everything you played at D23 on Disney Infinity? Yeah. I don't know. I mean, it's all fun. It's all it's fun. It's all fun. There you go. It's I all like fun. It. Disney Infinity. It's all fun. Yeah. <laughs> it's a great quote. <laughs> All cool, right, guys. you guys. Thank, Thank you, you so much for, Thanks for driving for by. I'm glad it Bye, really worked everyone. out. It's fun. Cool. All so. right. Thank you. Thank you. Hey. Anything else you wanted to say? Bye. Okay. <laughs> there you go. Uh, thank you, guys. I like your Bye. shirt, by the way. Bye. I just noticed. All right. Thanks. Bye. Um, who do we have next, you guys? All right. I think it's about time. Okay. One more, one more race, and then we're going to do some toy box building with none other than Papa Echo. He will return for some toy box building, but... First, we're gonna do a race with Scott and. Are you coming on, Janice? Oh, Janice! Come on! You guys, we're ready for you right now. <laughs> All right, so we are doing a little bit of recruiting um, at the event to get some of our Disney Infinity team members to come on and play Hello. with us. Hi, it's the mailman slash pizza man. Mailman, no mail today. Where's the pizza? No pizza today. I heard there were cookies. You're just bringing your A game? I should have brought some of the punch from outside. Oh, yeah, I would love some. There was Sith punch. Janice! <laughs> Hi, I saw you all hiding behind there. How's Hi, it going? Good. good, how are you? Happy Infinity Day. This is Janice. Do you want to tell everyone what you do for Disney Infinity? Um, I work on the marketing team. Yes, she is amazing. We are very happy to have her. So, and then, of course, you guys know Scott. So, are you ready to race Scott in Toy Box Speedway? Bring it on, Scott. Okay. Oh, oh, that's intense. It's already been brought. <laughs> <laughs> you guys. All right. So this is our final Toy Box Speedway race before we get into some Toy Box building. Um, let's pick we our get, characters. Yeah, let's pick our characters. Um, I, Janice, ladies first. Uh, oh, you know what? This was my inspiration. Oh. Oh, so my hair. Perfect. Oh, so you took some inspiration from some bean for your amazing yes. haircut. You should have done some like wash and dye for today. For yeah, that would be day. next step. Okay, How yeah. Halloween? Next level. Halloween? For Halloween, sure. Hey, we'll you would make an awesome Sabine. <laughs> should our team be the Rebels? For that Halloween? would be fun. Though I kind of want to be Rey from Star Wars. And we could just be any Star Wars. Okay. Yeah, oh, okay. I, I really want to be Rey. I'm obsessed already. Um, I'm going to be. Has anyone played as uh, Chewbacca? No, we haven't. I think that suits you very well, though. Okay. Oh, we have some. We have some fans out here that are checking it out. <laughs> okay. All right. So go ahead, pick your guys' race, and let's hear it. Team Janice with Sabine, or Team Scott with Chewbacca. Let's let us know who you guys Do think is going to win. Do we have stakes for this race, or is it just pride on the line? Pride. Um, Bragging pride. rights for the next few hours, I guess. Okay. All okay. right. Uh, how can I pick a different car? Is this my only? Um, how do you pick a? Well, where did Papa Echo go? You're able. There's a vehicle selector around here. I think maybe look behind Which you. One? I'm not sure where it, where it is. Select the Where's, vehicle. There it is. Yeah. Where did you see where that? Where did you see that, Janice? It's right there. Are we, oh, is that where that little man is? Is that? Over to the left. Over to the left. There. Is. Are you ready to master driving? Do you want to come help us, Tyler? Yeah. I'm going to my. I'm sorry. I don't. I haven't picked um, one in here, so let's so, see. Should we go? That's it. Right, no. Oh, that pad. I knew, pad. I knew there was a pad somewhere. Oh, right there. 
Now right, you've got it. right there, you can select your vehicle. To drift while you're We're going to get some different... <laughs> I think you're pretty lost right now. <laughs> okay, Dennis, turn around. Do I have to get out, though? You told me to go to right. I was talking to Scott. Oh, I see. I'm sorry. All right, get in that green vehicle. Now he has a... What if I want a different color? Yeah, just jump in. And then go over to the left where Scott right. Or to the right. There's Ooh. also another pad on the right. What, what does everyone want to... What do the people in the chat All right, want to see? What do you guys me? want to see? Uh, do you want to see Teacup? Teacup, Space Mountain, or... Bing Bong's Wagon. Can I, can I be Teacup? Yeah, you can be Teacup. Yeah, so be teacup. just drive over to, on the right, with a right trigger. Go over to the pad right there. Okay, so who wants right. Bing Bong's Wagon? Bing Bong's Wagon? Or Space Someone Mountain Log. Bing, Wong's, Bing Bong's Wagon or Space Mountain Log. Let's pull the chat. Okay, King Lupa, Bing Bong. Nice. Right away. Bing Bong. Hover Chair. Wagon, Bing Bong. Okay, I think, I think you have to go to the other one. there are a lot of um, votes for Bing Bong. Bing Bong, it is. Yeah, it's all it's all Bing Bong. Bing Bong and teacup. Teacup. Who's your friend who likes to play? Bing Bong. Chewbacca. Oh. 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 <laughs> um, Scott. Scott Gamer says you know I have the same okay. name. I'll just stay. The Scott Gamer. Shout out to Scott. <laughs> My name is Scott. Here, you know, let me get you the teacup. Uh, and I'm teacup. playing a game right now. Here, do you want to hold this? This is um, Allison, who is schooling me right now on how to do this <laughs> and just start this game. I, I promise to oh, oh, outweigh Scott, oh, only wait. if I can get in the right vehicle, though. There's oh, there we go. Summon vehicle. All right. Flying. So we're going to go. You want to do the teacup? It's going to be a tough one, right? Oh, is it? Okay. Well, then get me an easy one. Then. Oh. oh. Let's go teacup. It's going to be fun. What? Scott, did you start? <laughs> I was just driving, just cruising. <laughs> just cruising. Going for a little victory lap. Are you practicing? All right, practicing. you're all Put set. My boots down. I thought you said this is hard. No, I, it'll be great. You'll be great. There we go. Do you see me? All right. I so Scott is player one. Cheers. You need to go and um, What's, select um, the race. What race are? What are? So go to the go to the first middle one for the battle race. There okay. you go. Let's see what we haven't done yet. Awesome. So many votes for Bing Bong's wagon. Sing the Bing Bong song. Why? Oh, um. Who's it, your friend who likes to play? Go ahead and exit out of that, and then now you can select it. Bing bong, okay. bing bong. <laughs> Sorry, a little, little delay. <laughs> little delay. I think we're gonna do fifty, right? Okay. Fifty. Single, Single track. Yes, please. We've done Agraba. We've done San Francisco. We haven't done Arendelle. We did do Arendelle. Okay. What we, about Gravity Falls? Okay, Gravity, Gravity Falls. Falls. Mysterious. Should we do Gravity Falls? What else do we got? I think the three did we, we haven't... You, you did Sugar Rush? We did Sugar Rush. We haven't done Monsters Mayhem, Road to Nowhere, or Gravity Falls. All right. Gravity Falls? Gravity Falls. Gravity Falls it is. Cool. Okay. Maybe we'll see Mabel. I think so. Maybe... Maybe, uh... Waddles? Are we online? So go ahead and we press square to view your invites, and then X to accept. What's happening in the chat? What do people... What are they excited to see? They're excited to see you guys bring it. <laughs> Chewie versus Sabine. Okay. This is amazing. It's cute to see Chewbacca in Bing Bong's wagon. It's really cute. Oh, Basketball yeah. Fanatic says this is going to be challenging. Are you guys ready? Who wants a shout out? Oh. Should I give anyone a shout out right now? <laughs> Let us know if you want a shout out, and Scott will give all the shout outs during yeah. the race. I'm giving a shout out to Buzzkill, who's on the, in the audience right now. Jess, oh. let's come sit here for a bit. Oh, Jess, come on up. Okay. Let's make some room. Am I going to be number oh, six? Go, 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 you're racing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, check it out. Bing Bong's wagon leaving a rainbow trail. Who's your friend who likes ah! to race? <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute, just so you guys know, I will be screaming the whole time. <laughs> Maybe I'll keep it. Okay. Oh, whoa, I think Scott's going to be screaming. I don't know where to put the mic I to keep it to save your ears. Oh. I need this. Uh, yes. Shout out to Artist Infinite. Here we go. Give me a Artist Infinite. Artist Infinite. Art you promise. Artist Infinite. Artist Infinite. Artist Infinite. I'm working on my enunciation. Ray Ray 0911. Ray Ray. Ah. Ray Ray who? Oh! oh. <laughs> Here we go. You guys are too much. Oh, oh. <laughs> Ooh, we're in. What area is this of Gravity Falls? This is not a good bear. Right here. <laughs> it's an amazing matchup. You guys are hilarious. Oh. 
Wait, how do I use I my... do tend to squeal a lot when I'm <laughs> competing. Let's see. Shout out to 88 miles per hour. Shout out to Ooh, Get shout Gun out to eight miles per hour. Oh. That's about the speed that I'm Bye going syndrome. right now. Eight miles per hour. Bye, Felicia Syndrome. Oh. What's going on in the chat? Who's cheering for me? Um, <laughs> people just want the shout outs. Okay, give me Am some. I still on I track? Disney Turp says Chewy is my favorite. Can I get a shout? Yes, you can, Disney Turp. <laughs> Disney Turp. Is Are you from Maryland? Turp? T U R P. T U R P. Like, isn't that what Maryland's. Oh! Look! <laughs> that was a different voice, Scott. <laughs> I'm not so used to that voice. <laughs> I see, I see someone right in front of me, and I'm like, so close. I think I'm um, I'm sixth place out of out of five contestants. <laughs> well, I'm five, so don't feel too bad. Are you spinning around? I am. That's what you do in a teacup. I'm kind of representing how the that thing is in the parks. Yeah. So is Are you getting? or what? It's Pride and bragging rights for like two hours. Two hours? Two There's hours. a time limit. Two hour bragging you rights. You can go more than that. <laughs> it's anybody's race oh. right now though, guys. It's a fifth and sixth place. Is oh. there a way oh. for me to speed up? Papa <laughs> Echo, is there a way for me to speed up? Yeah, so if you hold down the left trigger, you will start to power <laughs> button. Is it really anyone's play? Wait, look, wait. Are you going to say my right? Someone's behind Someone's behind say my right. Someone right. I'm fourth right now. Are you, there we go. Are you about to laugh, Janice? Oh! <laughs> I think you're about to laugh, Janice, right now. <laughs> you know what? I'm giving everyone a scenic route of the yeah. Gravity Falls. Yeah, land. you're just doing a little tour, right? Yes. Model, oh tra God, model so Trayman says, go, Janice. Close. Thank you for your faith. I just laughed her. Oh, sorry. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> Something's on fire. <laughs> oh my goodness! Is there like a warping thing that I can do? Can I cheat? Oh, Fourth place! Oh, ragging rights go to We're Chewy. Two hours. <laughs> <laughs> no, keep going. You have to finish. I get um, two hours of bragging rights. We can, we can, we can drop out. <laughs> <laughs> that was Allison's way of telling you to stop. <laughs> no, wow. that was awesome. You guys here. Do you want a lightsaber combat? Good day. Oh, yeah, if lightsaber combat, you no, it would be a different story. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna practice tonight. Janice will be back, you guys. <laughs> yes, just watch. Wow. Another, another day. Wow. My, that, feel that my good. feel my heart. <laughs> wow, that's intense. Racing. Racing. My I'm heart is racing, racing, we're racing, <laughs> everything. Racing does that to you? Yeah. <laughs> a mile a minute. <laughs> I have an, I have, that was an intense race. All right, guys. I think uh, that is a good note to end the Toy Box Speedway awesome. Racing on. Let, thank you guys so thank much you. for coming. Thank you for having us. Yeah, thanks for this coming was great. on. Was Happy really Disney fun. Infinity Day. Happy Disney Infinity Day to them. Bye, um, everyone. You want to give another shout-out to everyone? Shout-out to everyone who asked for a shout-out. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. All right, okay. so we're going to go into some Toy Box building now. So we're going to bring back up Papa Echo. Okay, awesome. come on up, Papa. Let's All right, we're going to bring back. <laughs> All right, we're going to ask you to leave the couch now. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> All right, and just a reminder, guys, about our first to play sweepstakes. If you go on your web, our website, you can find out inf more information um, about how you can win one of the D23 exclusive Kingdom Hearts um, Mickey costume power discs. Welcome back, dude. Hi, how's it going? Have you enjoying the party? I, you know, I scouted out. There's a uh, certain Sith Lord that is out there. <gasps> Darth uh, Maul's mingling. Out there? Not that one. Oh, who's that? The, the other one. Can we bring him in here? Will that guy come in? <laughs> we're still, we're oh. Maybe we can go take a picture of him. That'd be cool. Yeah, we're we got, we'll get a picture and, and um, post we're, it on Instagram. We're seeing. We're, we're checking with the Empire. Okay, the checking program. with the Empire. But. See if he'll come. So, you want to build? Let's yeah, build. Yeah, let's build. Who do you want to play as as you build? Do you have a character that you usually build as? You know, I've been doing a lot with Mickey. Um, okay, but let's I've do been Mickey. Yeah, yeah, let's do Mickey. We're at the mouse house. Let's put Mickey Makes on. Makes sense, right? All right, so we're going to go out of the speedway. So. Kind of the hope for the, the live streams that we're doing here, kind of the last hour, is that we're going to be doing some kind of live building mm -hmm. and kind of show some of you guys, uh, maybe new to the toy box, how we can, um, how you can build certain kind of different gameplay and all these different things. So we're going to jump to a box I started on this morning. We're going to talk about platforming today. So you're going to school us. Yes. On how to make a platforming how game. How to make a really cool platform. Now I know 
some of the kids out there call it parkour. Yeah. I'm not kids one of those days. kids. I know. <laughs> Never have I felt so old as when I hear a kid say parkour talking about a video game. But uh, I still call it platforming, so that's what we'll be calling it. Someone said there was somebody staring at us. Um, tried to look around, but maybe the guy hid. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So a few things to talk about when we're talking about platforming. Uh, we're on One live thing stream. That is <laughs> Jamie, do you want to really say hello? <laughs> if you're new to building, are the creators and builders. These were in 2.0, they've been refined a little bit in 3.0. But there are, I'll tell you the difference between a builder and a creator. First tool, you want a platform, you just want to dive right in. We have the platform builder, we have Tigger is our platform builder. So what you can do is you can drop him in your toy box and he's gonna get cracking on building you a platform. He's a builder. We also have what we call a creator. Creator's not a character, it's more of a system. And what you'll see here, it's really kind of handy. If you're looking for something kind of quick to do is you place down a point on the creator and then you kind of say where you want your platformer to start. Then you're gonna place a second point, which is gonna be where your platformer ends. So let's say I want it to end in this corner of my toy box. And when I do that, I'm gonna get this little load screen right here, but sure enough. It's like magic. I instantly, yeah, exactly. That's pretty sweet. So that you just, that's you place, play. Yeah. yeah, exactly. So, and then of course you can test it out, but you got these kind of wooden blocks here, you know, not that exciting. You can actually change their themes. So based on what you're doing, if it's like a beach theme, if it's a jungle theme, if it's more kind of towards the empire, you can change the theme of those by using the magic wand. So this is great. You can start out with this template, but then you can really make it your own and customize it. So you don't have to put every piece down. Exactly. And then, of course, yeah, you can kind of add, subtract to it. If you don't like, you know, one piece over the other, if that's, you know, one too many swinging hammers, you can get rid of one, maybe, you know, add a different um, kind of elevator. But those are a good place to start if you're new to toy box building. But of course, some people are gonna kind of want to build theirs from scratch. And kind of one thing you need to know is how far a character jumps. And we have so many different characters that you can choose from, and some fly, some super jump, some swing. Uh, you know, you kind of need to know, you gotta make sure your level is kind of suited for anyone, really. That's what we like to do here. So I built this um, long jump pit. I used to coach track and field, oh, so you? I'm a little I biased. I that about you. Yeah, so. Also, I have to say your concentration right now is amazing. You're giving a tutorial where, while there is a ton of music and this, partying going on behind you. There's like, I'm using every ounce of force in my body <laughs> right now to concentrate on this. Because there's, there's definitely a dance party and going on. And just another side note that the live stream operations have been turned over to Tyler. Um, so oh my. <laughs> this should be interesting. <laughs> yeah. Don't touch anything. <laughs> so. Sorry. When you're, you have a kind of character, now Mickey, you can eventually level him up and he has this kind of super athletic jump he can do. But you know, some characters don't have that super jump. Yeah. So I kind of test this. Your average character is gonna jump probably about two blocks worth, gonna just make that third block. So when you're placing down blocks or platforming toys, try not to make any two blocks more than two blocks apart. It's kind of a nice rule of thumb there. So, <clears throat> kind of talk about some other things we did. I've started up building one, and we'll kind of finish it as we go throughout the live stream here. But there's a lot of cool different things you can use. I have some Sleeping Beauty pieces right here. Those are really cool looking. Yeah. So, How long did here. this take you earlier today? This, the Sleeping Beauty part, and the, I have a droid factory back there. Uh, probably about an hour, okay. I would say. And the, the more you build in the toy box, the more you kind of get used to all the pieces. And so, you know, you'll, you'll get faster as you go. But, so, <clears throat> a few things are these, these are new to 3.0, these kind of Sleeping Beauty pieces. Now the problem with them, they look sharp, they look pointy, they're decorations. You can't really, you know, you can jump on, there's not really a consequence. 
So one thing that we do, if I want to make this pit really feel perilous, is I throw in something called a trigger area. Trigger areas, see if I can grab it real quick, not Epcot Center. But these are invisible kind of areas you can, when you have your wand out or you're in spark mode, they kind of like a yellow box, you can drag one of the points here to any certain point. And you can kind of expand, lower it, whatever. So at the pit of my briar patch here, uh, I have a trigger of it. I've spanned it kind of a certain way there. And I have it to where I made a logic connection, where when you enter it, I'm gonna say when entered by a player, I'm gonna say any player enters that trigger area, I have this toy called the kill switch. And that kill switch is gonna basically defeat any player who enters that area. So if I were to get out of spark mode and I was to try to jump over the pit and let's say I miss, my character's gonna be defeated. So now that those decorations down there aren't just for show, they're actually really effective you know, it's a death trap. So we use the spinny toys here. This is, there's a whole category of toys. How do you get across that path, of course? You go to the section called platforming toys. You have spinners, you have Based off the feel, look good there. Typical rule of thumb when you're using the spinners, you want to kind of have a stable landing point after you get off a spinner. A lot of people go spinner to spinner, and that can get really disorienting. So I kind of like to have some sort of middle area, kind of like this one, so that you're not too, you know, dizzy when you get off. You kind of spinning area, still area spinning area. All right, so there you go. Another thing if you're new to platforming that you're gonna to wanna to have throughout your level, it's a toy called the Checkpoint Toy. I'm gonna pull that out here. It's a very handy little item. If you're ever playing a platforming type game, you know it's always kind of frustrating when you get really far in a level and all of a sudden you die and you start back at the beginning. You don't want to frustrate the people who play your level, unless that's what you're into. Uh, so you want to add these checkpoints. So I'm going to put one down here. Let's say the player gets through the Sleeping Beauty area. I want to have a checkpoint activate so that they save their progress if they die. So what you see there is when you run through it, you have sort of the spiral of sparkles. You see that one there, it means that player one has logged that as a checkpoint. So if I were to accidentally jump to this pit of lava here, I'm gonna spawn right back there, okay? So the next area I built, it's kind of a droid factory type stuff. A lot of this is unlocked through the Rise of the, no, not Rise, Twilight of Republic play set. So, kind of see here, we have some great new pieces, conveyor belts, these slicers, which add a lot of suspense. But as I'm going through here, and these, these spinners are actually gonna be from the Speedway, I believe. But they fit well in like a droid factory type setting. But as I'm playing through this, it's important to know as you build your platformer, test each part as you go. Because it's, it can be really frustrating when you build this whole level. Oh, see? That was, and I started back at my beginning, at my checkpoint, which is good. But you want to make sure that you can beat your level. Because if you can't beat your level, other people may not have a shot at doing so. So make sure that you know you test it. Make sure you get you know a couple friends to test it. I know on the community team, as soon as we build a level, we kind of invite each other to try it. And everyone has different play styles. So you know what's interesting, Patrick, I was talking to you earlier. And you said, I asked you, hey, Patrick, do you want to use a flying character? And you said, actually, I don't like to use flying characters because I can just easily cheat and fly through the level, and exactly. if I do that, I don't know if this level's actually beatable. Right. So, you know, I, I tend to like to pick someone who's not a flyer as my tester. Mickey's always my go-to, at least in 3.0 he's been. 
So right now it's kind of the end of what I've built. So we're going to kind of expand it from here and see where we want to take it. Now, one thing I want to do is add more terrain. I want to show off something. I want to theme it. I want to do set theme actually instead. That way, instead of having that kind of generic green, I'm gonna go with this kind of nice Toy Story blue theme. It's been a classic since 1.0. But you know what? If you get to the end of our droid challenge here, I'm gonna put down another checkpoint just to be safe. So I'm gonna go through, find my checkpoint. I'm gonna place one right there. Now for this one, I'm gonna show you a little trick that we and we community team use a lot. This checkpoint, you know, maybe you want it to be visible, maybe you want the player to see that. Sometimes, you know, that little sparkly rolling may not fit into the world you're building. If you're building like a Death Star, it may seem a little out of place. So what you can do is if you use the magic wand, you can go to properties here. And you can actually turn that to be hidden. Sparkles go away. Still have the wand out. When I put that wand away, it's completely invisible. Oh, thank you very much. I believe I got some Sith punch to celebrate. All right, very nice. But problem is when it's hidden, they may not know to touch that checkpoint. They can't see it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring back one of those trigger areas. And I'm gonna put a, I'm gonna resize it. I'm gonna expand it, make it pretty high, so that pretty much if they're playing my level, they're gonna hit this trigger area. So I'm gonna say, when entered by a player, and then it's gonna ask which player, I'm gonna say any player that hits that trigger area, so nice. I'm going to set that checkpoint for all players. And that way, once you beat that droid factory part, it's going to save your progress right there, basically. So you don't have to start all the way back at the beginning of the Droid Factory. Now, so that's some 3D platforming you can do. We're gonna show you something new in 3.0 here, which is uh, some kind of improved 2D platforming. I've just placed what we call the Path Creator tool. I'm gonna put that down right now, and I'm just gonna draw a straight line so it's pretty easy, you kind of plot your points. I wasn't very creative, I just did a straight line. But what you can do here is you can restrict the player's movement. So if you want more of a traditional, old school, 2D side scroller, I'm gonna bring a button. I'm gonna say when that button is pressed, I'm gonna tell the path point to activate 2D character movement. Or we'll just say the triggering players. Okay? So what happens is when I, when I keep the wand out so you can see what I'm doing here. When I press that button, it doesn't seem like much is happening, but whenever I, I move Mickey, he's gonna get pulled into that line. So he can still jump up and down. Vertical movement isn't affected. But if I try, I cannot move him off that path. Which is really nice because we're gonna add something else to this. We're gonna call it the sidestep camera. All right. If you guys have uh, questions for Patrick as we're going along, please put them in the chat and we'll read them out. Absolutely, so we'll kind of take some requests as we go, but I wanna say that same button that activates the 2D movement, I'm going to activate the side-scrolling camera. So what happens here, let's see what this looks like. Mickey is now trapped on that 2D plane and that camera is gonna track him as he goes. So we can kinda do some fun stuff with that. Now that camera's pretty close up. Sometimes you need to kinda need to work with your cameras and kinda see, you know, test them out. See. Okay. How question they are. from the chat. Yes. Um, how did you do that quick move to the edge of the block you had placed before? How did I do the quick move to the edge of the block? 
Say that one more time. How did you do that quick move to the edge of the block that you had placed before? Um, Ray Ray says, yeah, how did you do the quick move? Sorry, I wasn't watching. Quick but move. I was looking at the chat. It may have been so quick that I don't remember. Uh, I think it was just spark mode. Okay. So, you know, you can enter, we're on PS4 right now. So when I hit the kind of touchpad here, I get all my tools here, but sometimes I can actually, if I want to zip from one place to another in the toy box really quickly, you can enter spark mode and that spark will fly across. Now if you, here's a kind of just a builder's tip. If you really want to move around quickly in the toy box, grab a big item, okay. like a terrain piece, and you're going to move a lot faster. Let's check out how things are going over here with our builder. Hmm. It looked like Tigger took a break. I think they're saying your fast lane of terrain quick move. Oh, fast lane of terrain. All right, so if you place a terrain piece just like that, if I don't press anything else, if I just flick my uh, control stick right or left or whatever, it will go to the next closest available spot. So again, just kind of flicking the stick just like that. I don't know if the camera is catching that at all, but you can lay down a lot of pieces very quickly that way. All right, so let's extend our line a little bit. And again, it doesn't have to be a straight line. You can curve it. You can have your character kind of cut corners, go through curves, and they'll be on that path. So, so let's see how that camera looks now. All right, so Mickey is gonna jump on the path. It's still pretty close. Whoa. All right. Thank you. Saying right, bye to Evilos. Bye, Evilos. All right, so let's put some tools in that we can actually platform with. popular one from the inside out place that I think a lot of people are going to get some uh, use out of are the clouds. These are some pieces that if you stand on one of the cloud sort of kind of disappears and if it fully disappears you're going to fall right through it. So we'll throw some of those down. Maybe a, um, you know what, let's put a stable block there. Sometimes you want to give sort of a, a block or kind of a platform that the player can rest on in between bits. Because sometimes it's kind of stressful going from block to block. If, you know, this one's disappearing and the next one's moving. So you want to give them some places to catch their breath. That's always nice to do for the player. I'm going to theme this. Let's do some new inside out themes. A lot of new great block themes we have here. I like this one. This one's very colorful. Oh, that's cute. So um, in the chat, create like a pro says that they're gonna build an amazing Star Wars themed toy box using these sweet tips that you're giving out. I cannot wait to try that. It'll be okay. great. All right, so let's throw some more platforming toys. We have this um, new one in 3.0, which is the link block platformer. So it kind of just teleports one way or the other. Again, if you see them with this kind of generic wood texture, that means you can theme them any different way you'd like. So that one will now be that. I want to put a big, well, you know, I'm not going to do a spinner just yet. Let's drop some new toys from the inside out place. Inside out place. Very Thank cool. you. Again, building What's in. What's the item next to the clouds? The item next to the clouds. The one I just placed? Uh, I think so. Let's this let, uh, is 88 miles per hour once now. Customizable blink block platformer. Say that 10 times fast. Oh, okay. I'm going to talk into here. Yeah. Have they been able to hear me this whole time? No, it's just the music. Okay. Yeah, just so, so that we sure. can hear you above the music. That makes sense. Okay. So I'm going to, again, after we hit that, I'm going to bring a nice little stable platform. You know, I'm going to go back to that. artist block. Is there something you do to help you get over it? You know, it depends on what I'm building. That's a great question because artist block is a very real thing. Sometimes, you know, if I'm building, say, a level for Mickey, 
or a le level for one of the rebels, which I'm currently working on. Mm -hmm. Sometimes the best thing to do is just open up a new toy box, go through the ribbon, and place every toy that you think could be kind of applicable. You know, for when I did my Mickey level, I had no clue where to start. There's so many places you can go with Mickey Mouse. So I went through and I placed every possible thing, everything shaped like Mickey's head, I put down. I just thought, you know, what could I do with this? I kind of made a prototype box. And so, you know, just kind of play around with it. Sometimes on the community team, when we are trying to figure out ideas for what our next toy box should be, you know, the heart of the toy box is play. So a lot of times what we do so we just get in a four-player network game. We just start placing stuff down. We just mess around. We have fun. And through that, we've ex kind of discovered a lot of fun things we can do with the cars, um, with the diffusinator. Um, the level that's actually in Flynn's Arcade right now, the World of Color, you can track when you change the colors of certain things. We didn't know that until we started just playing around, messing around. And we've you know found that out just having fun. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just do a play test real quick. So you can kind of see those cloud platforms disappear. They will come back. Here's another question. Can you make a side-scrolling platformer with a vehicle or car, or like a car or a flyer? A car or a flyer? Um, you know what, the, the fun part about things like the side-scrolling camera so many different cameras, is they do limit your character's movement. So let me get out of that camera mode real quick. Let's put a flyer down and see what we can do. Now, where's, where's Boba? Here he is. He was just here. He was just here. All right. Bring him in. Let's go. My time so is when that camera's, oh, he's not flying right now. Do we, we don't have any native flyers. Here's the great part about cameras though is that when they're tied to a camera like the sides the, the split screen or the side scrolling camera the bird's eye view camera um their ability to fly is severely limited so that kind of helps if you want your level to be available to all players and you don't want the um you know flyer to just kind of fly straight to the end yeah we're gonna grab a flyer we'll, we'll test that out all right we'll keep, we'll keep placing stuff down while she does that And tink. Can I switch this up? Mm -hmm. oh. Alright, do we have a flyer? Alright, tink's on the on the base. Okay. Sounds like the party's winding down, the music's cut, shut down. Yeah. Everyone's partied out, or they probably just went home to play it themselves. Yeah. yeah, I got right. my free figure. Like, I'm good. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> All right, so Tinkerbell by herself can instantly fly from one end of your platformer to the other. And that's, you know, hard to do. We do have some toys that can kind of prevent flyers from doing that a little bit. There's, let's try to find, there's an anti air kind of little missile thing somewhere in here. Anyway, look in platforming toys, you'll find it soon enough to be sure. But what happens when we put Tink to that camera and that spline, she can hover, but she can't move anywhere else. She can't get any higher than where she is right now. So she has to rely on that jump. So I'm trying as best as I can to like get her to go high or low. And she kind of just hovers right there. So that's kind of one way to kind of, you know, let flyers be a part mm -hmm. of the fun without, you know, just saying no flyers. But that's cool. yeah. So let's put some more things down. Again, Inside Out playset has a lot of great ones. So I'm gonna kind of add some verticality to this. This button toy here <coughs> springs you right up. It's a lot of fun. Let's change the theme there. Let's mix it up. Get some beautiful blue glitter. But kind of as you add each part, you kind of want to make sure that your your level um, 
does work. So kind of, you know, as you make each piece, test it, make sure that it works. And you know what else? You might want to have other people test it, like we said. That's a good idea. Get your friends or yeah. either online or if you've got or, you siblings know, at home. If you're standing next to a co-host of Toy Box TV, maybe uh -oh. you hand the controller uh -oh. and let them try. So I'm going to theme this last block. Let's see if Allison can get to the top of my platform here. I walked right into that one. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna, if you just hit that button right there. Okay. And let's see if this well, works. Live play test. Trial by fire. Oh. Oh, she's hovering. Oh, it's kind of interesting playing. Maybe let's throw yeah. somebody else down there. All right, we're gonna try. Chewy. Let's see if Chewbacca can do this. So this one's interesting how it just kind of teleports over. Yeah, you have to pay special close attention to those. Hope we can go back to that one. Lights on the platformer. Hooray! Well done, okay. Woo! Very nice. That was well designed, Patrick. Well, thank you. So again, it's always good to test and you know, people are gonna have feedback, what they like, don't like, uh, and that's good. Oh, thank you guys for the support, I see. We believe in you. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, it's pretty simple, platforming, right? Um, it was so a lot let's of fun. actually shorten that. We'll have that be the end of our platforming part there. Um, I'm trying to think where else we could take our platforms. 3.0 has a lot of great different building sets we can use. So let's next maybe let's check out some of the Endor pieces. The Rise okay, Against yeah. the Empire playset has a ton of great treetop type pieces. I'm gonna get rid of these star pieces so it looks a little more Endor-ish. Guys, just a heads up, if you have just been tuning in in the middle of the stream, we are doing these Disney Infinity 3.0 Launch Week live streams all week long. Tomorrow we're going to be back um, with Brandon Jones from GameTrailers.com. We're going to be playing the Toy Box Takeover expansion game that um, if you pre-ordered Disney Infinity 3.0, you got um, with your pre-order. And if not, you'll be able to get it again um, starting in October as, long, as well with uh, Toy Box Speedway. That's right. So we're going to be giving you guys a sneak peek at that one if you haven't quite gotten your hands on it yet. All right, so before we start the Endor portion, got a little bit of a mashup world going here, clearly. We started with Sleeping Beauty and then a Droid Factory and then some Inside Out. Um, sometimes you kind of want, you can change the Sky Dome as well. And toy Box veterans know how to do this, but those of you who are new to building, this is also a very handy tip. So we're gonna go put another one of those trigger areas down. I like using those trigger areas. We're gonna go to Creativa Toys. I'm probably going to scroll by it about 15 times because <laughs> I refuse to use the filters. But actually, instant fun is where we're going. There's something called the Skydome Changer decorations. There we go, instant fun. Kind of hide this somewhere in your level. I'm going to actually hide it underneath. I like to hide my creativa toys just so they're not kind of sticking out. But I'm going to say when you enter this area, We'll say when any player enters this area, I'm gonna then tell it to talk to the sky changer. And we're gonna have it change to the Sanctuary Moon Sky, which is our Endor Skydome. Very pretty Skydome. Then when we're done with it, I'm gonna say when we exit that area. We're gonna change it back to the, let's say the Disney Castle Sky. Let's try that out. So when we enter our area here, looks like we've been transported to the Forest Moon Endor. Ooh. But when we exit that trigger area, oh, it brings beautiful. it back to normal. So, Let's make it feel a little more like Endor. I'm gonna add some of these plant pieces. Now these plant pieces as they are right now, don't feel very 
Endory. No, they really don't. A little more kind of fantasy land. When I press the, uh, well, let me go back there. I want to highlight it. I'm going to press triangle on the PS4 here. Get a little art palette. I can change those to a bunch of different options. And there's actually a set that's going to look like Endor. And I should also mention while I'm doing this, there is the weirdest dubstep version of the Star Wars thing going on behind <laughs> I was me. I just listening to that. <laughs> they are dropping the bass right now. Wow. I heard uh, Darth Vader was, was, um, was breathing, and I was like, what yeah. is this music? <laughs> It's kind of cool. So a lot of these are for show. Sometimes you can also jump and platform on these, but we'll make these a little more like Endor. Question for you, uh, Patrick, is uh, what are your favorite figures? Favorite figures. You know, I, I keep going back to them, but uh, Mickey, Mickey is, you, you can't go wrong with Mickey. I think my favorite from 3.0 is Ahsoka. Nice. Yeah, she's really powerful and fun to play with. She is. She is. She's a blast. Um, Star Wars wise, Han Solo has always been oh, my favorite. Yeah. But uh, I've been enjoying Ezra too. Oh, that's cool. The Rebels are great. Yeah, I, I would say Sabine is my other favorite Star Wars uh, character for 3.0. Okay, so let's look at some building sets. There's a there's seven building group sets here in 3.0, you'll eventually kind of come to unlock. There's one that is kind of all trees, and you have like an Endor type trees you can work with, make like an Ewok type village. And there's some other similar ones here. Let's just kind of scroll through and see what you have here. Lots, I mean, you see here tons of pieces. Uh, classic, we have kind of a more traditional tree house type pieces. Those were in 2.0, they're still here. You can make your own trees, kind of like a Swiss Family Robinson type vibe also has the amazing, you know, let's add these back to the inside out portion. That'll look good there. Here's a question from JB4670, and maybe you can answer this now, or maybe you'll answer this in one of your later streams. Um, how do you save vehicle power to, into toy boxes? You know what? I think we're going to cover that. What week are we, what day are we doing racetracks and stunt courses? I don't remember. It's coming up. It's coming up. So oh, no. well, let me check the let's check the schedule, <laughs> Tyler. We're gonna check that out, but that is definitely something we're gonna be covering very soon. So. All right. So All right, on Wednesday, Wednesday we'll actually be going into racetracks, and Patrick will show you how to save vehicle power this within a toy box. All right. So we're gonna throw down some Ewok pieces, and if we're gonna do trees, you kind of have to start with the trunks. Pirate trees. Steven says, Allison, ask Patrick if Greedo shot first or Han. <laughs> oh, man. It's a close call, but I got to represent my team. Han definitely shot first. So we're going to make sure we can jump on that platform. All right. You can grab on there. I think, you know, if we have those, I'm going to show you guys another important platforming thing. Go to platforming toys again. Our rail slides. You have a whole bunch of them here you can use. I start with this kind of rail corner. It's kind of a nice place to start. You can also you have a nice kind of clean edge for your ledge. You can kind of do it like that. Maybe we'll do it like that. So the nice part about these rail slides is when you jump on them, you'll obviously kind of go into a slide type mode. But these are all very themable, so if you kind of hit that palette icon when you highlight them, there are a ton of different options, so you can make it look like a beanstalk. We have some new features in 3.0. You can have, well, look like a Death Star. There's actually an Ewok-specific rail, so it looks like you're kind of on that slide. So I'm going to set that theme. Let's see if we can kind of make a path here. Now, there's actually, you can kind of take the course however you want. You can also switch the path as you go. So some of these have logic on them. And these will switch. See that arrow there? It can go one way or the other. But you have to tell it how it can switch. So we're going to find the rail slide target. So I can try to figure out, remember where it was. Here it is. 
the rail target point. I'm gonna put that like right there. We call it the rail target point because that piece doesn't have collision. You can kind of place it anywhere. You can see that box there. Normally you couldn't place anything else within that box. This rail slide piece here, you can put right on top of it. It doesn't really have any collision, so it's very handy. You do something. So I'm gonna say when this target's hit, it's going to rotate that path. Question for you, can you use the path creator as a rail slide? The path creator, yes you can. Who asked that question? Oh, it wasn't the chat, but I've lost it now because the chat's moving too fast. Let's see. Oh, Georgios Angelos. Well done. That person's had some practice with the uh, the path tool, I think. Mm -hmm. You oh, can actually... I didn't realize I was on the camera. <laughs> what was? Oh. I shouldn't ask. All right. So, yeah, you can do the exact... So, it's not going to be as oh, visible, yeah. but I could place a tool like that. Now, if I wanted to make it look visible, I could add an effect on that path so that they knew where to go. If you go down the properties, there's a lot of customization here. I'm actually looking for visual effect on path. So if I wanted to slide on that, maybe add some screen, green sparkles to it. There's an option right here, it says rail slide. If you turn that on, people can now rail slide on that. Sweet. So you can have, see? So if I didn't put that effect there, it would be kind of invisible, might be hard to see, but. But you could, rail slide on an invisible path? You could. That's pretty cool. So you can make it almost like they're, I don't know, floating on like the yeah, force or, or something. Yeah, or it's like a shortcut, like a hidden shortcut in a platformer or something. Yeah. That's awesome. So some different options you can do there. How are we doing on time? Um, we're, we're getting close. Okay. So if we want to wrap this up and then I think we have one more thing to do after this. Okay, so you know what I'm going to do? If we're running short on time, you have to have a finale for your platformer. Of course. So, let's say that this is the end point of our platformer. There's a lot of ways we can sort of celebrate the ending. The traditional toy box ending is always the fireworks. We have some upgraded fireworks now, which is really nice. I'm gonna find those right now. As I scroll through everything. We're gonna find the brand new Firework Cannon. Get a sneak peek at all the sweet collectibles we have in 3.0. It is staggering how many pieces we have to work with now. It is Seriously. great. Seriously, because I mean, you can bring all of your toys from 1.0, or most of the toys from 1.0 yep. and 2.0 into the 3.0 toy box. So now you're just working with a ton more tools. All right, so I'm gonna play some of these. I'm gonna bring a, another trigger area up here. So let's say that this stump right here is the end of our toy box. This is the goal you wanted to get at. Another kind of tip that I know I use a lot. If you are trying to find an item and you don't want to go through and try to figure out what category it was in or you want to go left or right, if you already have that item placed in the world, like that trigger area right there, I select it, place it back down, and it gives me another copy of it. So it's pretty effective. So I'm going to say when entered, again, by player any, I am going to set off a lot of cool fireworks here. We're going to do a, lar or a rebel symbol firework. We'll make it red. Cool. Empire likes red. I'm going to do another one over here. I'm going to, for sake of time, I'm not going to hook up all of them. But get another rebels you know what? let's do this one an empire symbol we don't want to leave anyone out here light side dark side it's all good so we can do that another thing i like to do there's a great creativity toy called the action enforcer it's a little hologram toy it basically looks like a guy jumping but you can have the character celebrate be sad you know, whatever. So if they get all the way up here and they've survived your perilous platforming challenge, we're gonna make that character celebrate. Okay. So let's see how this looks. Let's say we are at the grand finale of our platformer. I wanna take this final rail up here. Cool. See what happens. Uh, she's got a great little celebration. He roars. He waves his crossbow in celebration, and again, 
fireworks go off. We'll see it one more time. That's fun. Yeah. That's awesome. So there you go. So you can really feel like that sense of I finished yeah. the level. Yeah, definitely. So now to, to cap off our Monday live stream, what do you say a rematch on tour? You know, I've I was hoping this would happen. So I've been thinking about it. I consulted with Darth Vader. He gave me some pointers. It looks like we're let's do it. we are out of time. No. So let's start tomorrow. Okay, let's tomorrow. Start tomorrow. The, the rematch. You okay. guys let us know which track you want us to do and which figures, okay? Sounds good. All right. It's, uh, yeah. We'll start off tomorrow with another rematch. And then um, tomorrow as well, we'll have Brandon Jones from GameTrailers.com on. He's the editor-in-chief and founder of GameTrailers.com. And we'll be playing for Toy Box Takeover, which is the other Toy Box expansion mm. game that um, some people got in their, with their pre-orders. If you pre-ordered Disney Infinity 3.0, and if you didn't, you'll be able to get it in October. So we're going to give you guys a taste of what that Toy Box expansion game is all about. Anything else to add? Um, the only thing I can think of is if you can dream it, <laughs> you can, can do, do it. it. <laughs> All right. Take care, you guys. Yay. I'll see you tomorrow. Woo.